combinations of flute. Today your first lesson is on hand position. So we're going to start with your right hand. To figure out where your thumb is going to go, I want you to flip your hand over and relax everything. So your shoulder and your elbow. And then notice that for me, my thumb naturally goes right next to my index finger. When we're talking with the flute and where to put your fingers over the keys, um, make sure each um, open hole or just you know the center of each key, make sure it's right on the fleshy part of your hand. Let your fingers arch naturally. And then if you need to move your pinky over for anything, you can use this sideways motion. So while we're talking about your right hand, I also have to mention your wrist. Um, if your fingers are in this correct position and they're all lightly curved and you're doing this kind of motion with your forearm when you need to move your pinky, um, you can see that your wrist will be really nice and buoyant is the word I like to use for this. So it's not um, stressed in any way right now and it's lightly curved then I want you to make sure that your elbow is facing kind of down towards the floor and not sticking out. And then your shoulder, you should keep your shoulder really relaxed. On your left hand, um, it's a little easier trying to figure out where to put your thumb because there are thumb keys in the back here. So for right now, I'm gonna put my thumb on the, not the B flat key, but the B thumb key. Um, on the lower part, but notice when your thumb is on the B flat key, it's right under the first finger like we put it in the other hand where it naturally fell. So clearly we were thinking, someone was thinking about where your thumb naturally falls when they made the flute. Your second and third finger are going to go on the next two keys and it's still the finger pads, not the tips. In this hand, they're going from more curled to more to uncurled here. So your ideal hand position would look like this. You're relaxed, your, your wrists are buoyant, your elbows are down, your shoulders are relaxed. What you basically wanna do is only focus on putting them down and then naturally letting them bob back up because really your fingers want to be in a rested upward position and they don't actually want to go down onto the keys. The keys are very springy. So you don't have to work as hard as you think you do to put your fingers on the keys. You can test my theory about the fingers wanting to be in an upwards relaxed position by holding out your hand and pulling a finger down and then seeing what happens. Notice it doesn't stay in the down position and it kind of just swings right back out. <laughs> Now I want you to play a scale and think about moving your fingers really mindfully. So think about what they're doing and try to keep the keys as calm and as quiet as possible. is to tap what you're playing on your flute. When I really notice that um, I'm having issues with my technique or my hand position, um, it's when I'm playing a really fast part in a piece. So my advice to you, if you're struggling with that currently, is to play whatever you're playing very slowly and to only move up your metronome by small amounts until you get it to be where you want it to be. 